Hey, what's up everyone? It's Topics Every Day with Steve. Yesterday's topic, we talked about the murder hornets. Today's topic, we're talking about cars. I'm not big into cars like the next guy and some of my friends who know the inside outsides of cars are. But I do have a dream car and we'll get to that later on in today's episode. Some of my friends do know cars on the inside and out, and they know them very well, very good, and they just good with cars. I'm not. I can tell you where simple things are. I can tell you where you put the freaking gas nozzle in. I mean, it's about as far as you'll get with me. Um, Like I said, I know very little about cars, but I do personally... Um, have a dream car, and my dream car is probably out of my reach, probably something I'll never own, and no, it's not a Lamborghini, because I feel like the mo the people who want Lamborghinis the most are between the ages of, like, 5 and 10. They don't know cars very well, they don't know any other car, they see a Lamborghini, the supercar looks nice, they're like, boom, I want one of those. Me, personally, my dream car is a Dodge Challenger SRT Hellcat or one of the other. I don't personally care. I just want one of those cars. They sound nice. They look beautiful. You know, they might guzzle gas. You know, I might, you know, tap the gas a little bit, $20 right there. But those cars, that car to me is like very big. My dad had Chargers and he had a Challenger at one point. So like... I just fell in love with Dodges. Yeah, obviously, between, you know, the ages of 5 and 10, I was a Lamborghini person, which I think everyone between the ages of 5 and 10 are. But at the same time, I feel like some people don't grow out of that. I want a Lamborghini phase, and they truly have a passion for that car, so they go and buy that car as time goes on. Um... But, you know, to me personally, it's Dodge cars like Vipers, Challengers, Chargers. That Dodge is just my favorite dealership to go to to get a car. Um, Like I said, I've been around Dodges pretty much my whole life. My dad's had Dodges pretty much his entire life. So, like, having a Dodge is cool. Like, a Ram would even be cool to me. Like, trucks are cool and all that. But, like, you know, back to my friends, they know cars so well that they just... They buy them, they fix them up, and they make them sound crazy. As a kid in my school that I'm not really friends with, but he bought this old beat-up 88 um, Mercedes and fixed that thing up to be like a drag car. Like, that thing sounds like a drag car and could probably go that fast. I've never seen him drive it. I've just seen him rev it up in the parking lot of the school. But stuff like that, like, I can't do that. I open the hood of a car, it's like it's like a thousand-piece puzzle. I have no idea what I'm doing in there at all, whatsoever. So it's kind of cool that people know cars inside and out. It's kind of cool that I can talk on this topic because, again, I don't know cars. If you guys know cars and want to teach me something, comment below, please, because I still have no idea what I'm doing about cars and stuff like that. You know, the people who requested this also requested we talk about like motorcycles too and again motorcycles I know a little bit more about um no one in my family I think my uncle had a license at one point for a motorcycle I don't know if he he never renewed it or, or what happened with it but it was probably before I was born so more than 17 years ago but motorcycles to me are a lot cooler than cars but again they're a lot harder to drive than cars are clearly i'm still in that like five to ten year old range when it comes to bikes and motorcycles because my motorcycle of choice would be a harley davidson and i know that's cliche because everyone wants a davidson but i don't know what it is about those bikes maybe it's because they were the first bikes that i really heard of or have seen because I used to live in New York, so it's kind of like I've always seen those bikes around, so it's kind of like, ah, I want one of those. But Harley-Davidson's are like my bike of choice. I would buy one if I had the money to buy one or the license to do so because I don't have my motorcycle license yet, but I'm going to try to get it. Um, But yeah, that that's pretty much all I have to say on bikes because, again, I'm not a big bike person. I don't really 
like bikes. I mean, I like, I know a little bit more about them than I do about cars, but I don't, I'm not a big transportation person, you know, obviously if I'm sitting here doing this and making these types of videos, I obviously don't like cars. Well, I do like them, but like, I won't, they're not a big thing to me if you get where I'm going here. The thing that was suggested about all this is like trucks. Now, this could be either way. They weren't very specific, but they could be talking about like Chevy Silverados or they could be talking about Peterbilts. I'm going to cover both because I like trucks a lot. So my truck of choice would probably be a, a Dodge Ram uh, 2019. Doesn't matter what make just I mean, it doesn't matter what model, just 2019 Dodge Ram. Um, if I had to buy like an 18 wheeler or a truck like that, I would buy a Peterbilt 370, um, 3700, whatever they are. I don't know the numbers. I just know it's a freaking Peterbilt and it starts with a three and a seven, but I would definitely buy one of those. Those trucks last a very long time. They're very good. Um, so do Rams. I mean, I've heard mixed stories about Ram trucks, but I feel like they run longer than a lot of for definitely four trucks but I wouldn't say about chevy because chevy trucks last forever as we know chevy is crazy with that stuff but uh yeah peterbilts i would definitely buy one if i had the money they're expensive as hell but i would definitely buy a peterbilt and i would definitely buy a dodge ram hopefully i can get a dodge ram honestly you know i'm probably not going to get the srt that i want but i will probably get that ram I'll probably you know, have money put away for a ram so let's hope i can get get it eventually um but yeah that's all i really have to say on the trucks i mean i would like a peterbilt i would like a ram crazy nice trucks they're beautiful they would serve a purpose here so yeah that's all i gotta really say about trucks people talk about boats too and i'm gonna be honest i know absolutely positively nothing about boats I couldn't even tell you how to start one, to be honest with you. I don't know about boats. I don't know how they work. If you're a boat enthusiast, you know, I'm sorry, but I don't know anything about boats. I'm not a big boat person. I grew up in New York, and obviously we didn't have boats in New York besides the ferry. And if you had a boat and you had a permit to go sail on the Hudson, that's where you had one. Obviously, I didn't. I don't. So I'm not big on boats. I don't know anything about boats. But that's going to do it for today's episode, guys. I hope you guys really enjoyed um, episode two. Um, this is going to be a season. This is season one, and it's going to go. We're, we're just going to keep doing this because, you know, I, I, you guys really seem to enjoy these. You know, yesterday's episode, you guys really seemed to enjoy the minute and a half of me being terrified of bugs and hornets. And now, now I've revealed my secret. I feel like an idiot. But... Subscribe, drop a like if you enjoy this series, comment below, and if you guys have any ideas, any ideas at all of topics we could talk about on this show in the coming future, drop them in the comments below, or somewhere in this video I probably put my YouTube handle, I'm a YouTube, my Instagram handle somewhere in the video at some point. Again, I probably will put it here because I said Instagram and that's just how I edit my videos. So Instagram here and um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you guys tomorrow on episode three of Topics Every Day with Steve.